Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another comparison video. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the Nike PG3 versus the Nike Zoom Freak 1s. Big comparison. Big comparison. Let's get it. First and foremost, massive shout out to Nike and to the family over at Perfect Basketball for sending both of these through. If you'd like your pair of either the PG3s or the Nike Zoom Freak 1s, head over to the description box below, click the link to the Perfect Basketball website where they will take care of your basketball needs. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support like you guys already do. Don't forget to comment down below what your favourite of the two is. Is it the PG3 or is it the Zoom Freak 1 fam? And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Yannis and Paul George are both the latest athletes to join the Nike signature roster. Mm -hmm. PG's been in the game three years deep now, and this is Yannis's first signature basketball shoe. They're both beasts in the basketball pool, bro. Yes. I mean, their, their game speaks to them. It speaks volumes, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But today, we're not talking about the players themselves. Nope. We're talking about the shoes they hoop in and which one is better. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As for usual, kicking things off with the aesthetic. I think it's over here, Tim. That was yeah. quick. I'm just going to go ahead and say you answered that real quick. It's over here. I agree. It's also over there. There you it, go. It, it, the Freak 1 came out yeah. ready. Yeah, bro. Don't get me wrong. We said they're similar looking shoes. Yep. But yeah, it's a free one Yeah, it's a free one, yeah, it's a free one Straight away. Next up, talking about traction. Now, if you haven't seen the performance reviews, watch them. They're bloody amazing. But if you haven't, we call this traction pattern the Rose Run Retraction Pattern. And the PG's the Octopus Suction Traction Pattern. And they both performed really well. Well, which is there. All I know is Octopus Suction got its name earned, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Suction, sticky. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. However, over on this side, the traction did get the job done, but we did suffer from some, some dust collection, which okay. is a bit of a shame. However, you know, on your clean courts, you are still really good. Yeah. But dust collection wasn't an issue, wasn't a problem, but it was still very apparent an issue. So the point has to go over to the PG3. Yes, it does. Thank you. Next up, talking about the cushioning, AKA the Battle of the Zooms. AKA four foot versus heel. And over here, you're right, it's four foot. It's that good, good four foot. It's yeah. not just that silly little bag. It's that good, good four foot that we've grown to love in the PG line. It's been the same in every shoe. Yeah. But don't fix it if it ain't broke. Yeah. What? Cord out. Cord out. Five long carrier. Soft. Soft. Yeah. Real soft. Yeah. Responsive. Yeah, comfortable, cozy. Everything. All of that. Yeah, everything you want from a four foot zoom. Basically. Over here, we have heel zoom. And not just any heel zoom, we have double stacked zoom. Ooh, zoom baby. squared. And it also performed really well. Yannis being a player that he is, yeah. this is definitely a, a setup that complements his game. I hear that. However, I definitely prefer that four foot zoom, you know, man. I mean, I know why you do. Yeah. I get that because it's a great shoe yeah. and uh, me and the PG won that point. I get that. All right, cool. However, I will say you've got court fill on that side. You do have court fill on this side. So it's almost a little bit of a preference. Yeah. You do have court fill here, but you get a little bit more with it being just Phylon. So you take that small piece, but I'll take the point. We might even have protection upon impact on this side too, you know? I ain't getting told of that. The point's still yours, but you can agree with me though. I can agree. Safe. Next up, talking about the materials. Now over here in the Zoom Freak 1s, we have an overall textile mesh, which doesn't feel like your usual textile mesh. Mm -hmm. It's got more of a premium feel to it. I hear that. We have a nice overlay as well for your toe drag areas. The, the, the tongue is nice and soft. I mean, it's doing a lot over here to me. Do you know what I'm at? It feels amazing. Yeah. Breaking time out the box is minimal, close to zero. Love that. We do love that. It's everything that you want now. Out of, out of, we do love that. Materials, especially for your first shoe, Nike's definitely smacked it. Now over on this side, on PG's third shoe, we have that textile mesh upper as well. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, it doesn't feel as premium yeah. as it does on your side, but 
still very good. Not only the textile mesh, we do have the synthetic overlays yeah. along with the nylon in the ankle area as well, which all came together really well. Soft, comfortable, flexible, lightweight, lots of boxes were ticked. Yeah. I love them on this side, but I thoroughly enjoyed the Freak One. Yeah, 100%. I thoroughly enjoyed the Freak One. Comfort. Super. It's what this shoe provided. Yeah. Yeah, and that is why this shoe would get the point. You're fully right about it being a premium textile mesh yeah. because we're not used to it being that flexible. No. But it was. Next up, talking about the fit. Yeah. Now we've got a lot to talk about. We do. They both fit amazing. Yeah, okay. They're both great things. Yes, they are. They They're are. both great fitting shoes. The PG felt amazing. We've always known yeah. that the PG felt amazing. Lacing system. Lacing system. Yeah. It's tough. Got there before I did. It's a tough lacing system. It has been. It's an evolution from PG2, which we loved. Yeah. It's a great fit. It's true to size. It's regular. Mm, wow. Yeah. Bro. It's a wow. And this shoe is also a wow. It's a wow. We have the Four Brothers lacing system which is an amazing lacing system, yep, bro. Yep, yep, they right. are attached to the internal bands of the shoe. And what that basically means, when you lace the shoes up, the forefoot of the shoe conforms almost seamlessly. Yep, yep, it's it's yep, amazing. Yep, yep, that. that accompanied with the materials. Here we, go. Here we go. Also add to the overall comfort of the shoe. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm spitting a lot of words. Fact. I hope you guys can see that the point has to go to the Zoom free yeah, ones. Yeah, it's I still think it's a close one. I think they both banged. They did both band. Hundred percent both band. Yeah, but this band more. The edge is real. Yeah, no, I'm with. Them. Next up, talking about the support. Now over here in the Zoom free ones, we have our usual suspects. The overall lockdown of the shoe, like I mentioned before, comes from the Four Brothers lacing system. We have this internal TPU heel counter and also the cushioning as well that comes up as well that makes almost a double heel counter. Mm -hmm. We have the outrigger of the shoe for lateral support. And I mean, they all come together really, really well to give you a great supportive shoe, especially for a player like Yanis. Yeah. The way he plays, this shoe definitely complements him in the support category. Over on this side, the PG3 is also a great supportive shoe. He's two-way, always known to be that way, yeah. so he needs to be locked down, and yeah. the PG3 does exactly that. Yeah. We have the usual suspects, the outrigger shape, the internal hill counter, the laser system we just spoke about, along with those synthetics, create this crazy mid-foot lockdown. The materials come together as well. It's all a medley yeah. of different components, which has helped hold your foot inside the shoe yeah. when you're going two way. Defense, offense, up, down, left, right, twist, turn, you're good to go. Yes. Especially a player like PG and anyone similar to him as well. Yeah. It's another close one. It's another close one. But what they want to know to me is which shoe is more supportive. And I think the answer to that question is a Zoom Freak ones once again. Is it not a preference though? I don't think so, bro. I think that almost double heel mm, counter true. and the outrigger might be a little better on the shoe. It's 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 and then the, 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 the four brothers lacing system, the fit, the lockdown. The lockdown, bro. The lockdown. Oh, I hear that. Lockdown's everywhere here, though. That lacing system. But who does the point go to? I understand that still. Thank you. Last and most certainly not least, my favorite category of these comparisons the price. This is a tough one again, bro. Yeah, it is. These shoes are priced exactly the same, both £105. Now, it's not which shoe is priced lower, it's which shoe is better value for your money. When we're looking at the, you know, the, the ca different categories we've spoken about, the, the Yannis, the, the Zoom Freak one just performs a little bit better. And again, that does come down to preference and what you prefer in a basketball shoe. If you prefer cushioning and traction, which I think a lot of guards do prefer, yeah, they would. They would go this way. But if you prefer, you know, comfort, you know, great materials, a great fitting shoe, yeah. and a shoe that supports you, then you go this way. And because of all of that, the point goes to the Zoom Freak ones. Yeah. It's a very, very close one. Yep, yeah, I agree. But the point goes to the Zoom Freak ones. I definitely think that these, both of these shoes are worth the 105 pound oh, price yeah. mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So right guys, that's everything. Looking at the scores, it's 5-2 to the Zoo Freak 1. What a shoe. Yeah man. That is how you debut a shoe. Nike and Yanis did an incredible job. Yeah. So congratulations and welcome yet again to the signature roster.
I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. And you know what? By no means is the PG3 a bad shoe. I love shoe. bro. It's an amazing love shoe. That. No, I it's, that. The, it's a shoe that I've hooped in a lot, you know, the past season. And PG should also be proud of that shoe. Facts. But this shoe is just a little bit better, right? A little bit, a little bit of an edge. It's an edge, because they were all close. Yeah. There were some close ones in there. But it's a it's a zoom free thing. That's it from us. Like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you'd like either of these amazing basketball shoes, head over to the description box below, click the link to the ProDirect Basketball website where they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support like you guys always do. Comment down below which shoe you prefer. Is it the PG3 or is it the Zoom Freak 1? Or have you tried out both? And is it more of both fit? Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So right guys, there you have it. This is the Nike PG3. This is the Nike Zoom Freak 1. We're up your kicks. Let's get it. it.